back. Turn up the volume and enjoy our show. Captain's Log, Stardate 54529.1. The Excelsior is rendezvoused with the starship Excalibur. I'm looking forward to welcoming my new first officer, Commander Elizabeth Shelby. Sir, with all due respect, I don't belong here. By all accounts, my next assignment should be a ship of my own. Of course, Commander. I'll recommend you for a freighter or a garbage scowl, because without any flag experience, that's all you're going to get. Permission to speak freely, sir? What is it? You're in my way. I bet you say that to all your commanding officers. Well, don't even think about it on this ship. Calhoun recommends you very highly, but he also notes that you're a constant pain in his backside. Sir? I expect your performance on this ship to reflect your duty to Starfleet first and foremost. Any more crap about career advancement and I'll have you supervising toxic waste cleanup in the Gamma Quadrant. Do I make myself clear? Very clear, sir. I know you're already familiar with some of my crew. Make it your first priority to get to know the rest of them. And on friendly terms, I might add. I want synergy on this crew. I will, sir. Dismissed. You're a bit, Martinez. I'm gonna have to fold. So sorry to hear that. Raise your bet. A 50, Doctor. A poor move, I'm afraid. I call. Beats me. Elby's been helping you again, hasn't she? It doesn't take a telepath to see a poker face. Now, I just might make that Leffler's Law number 261. You're a good sport, Doctor. You can't win them all. To quote Leffler's Law number 46, life isn't always fair. My dear, would you mind not quoting those annoying laws of yours every five minutes? Hey, should I play again? Of course. Annie up. Senior staff, report to the conference room. Hold that thought, Doc. Let's go. Starfleet's lost contact with the USS Perihelion in Sector 324. She's cataloging planets in that region. She hasn't been heard from in over a week. Sector 324 is not that far off our present course. That's why Starfleet wants us to swing by and check it out. This will, however, delay us enough to miss the conference on RISA. What else do we know about the Perihelion? She's a Nova-class science vessel, maximum speed of warp 7.92. It's Captain Matt Jilson's first command. The crew is fresh out of the academy. Let's go to yellow alert just to be safe. Alter course for the Perihelion's last known coordinates. Dismissed. Captain's log supplemental. We've locked onto the Perihelion's transponder. All attempts at long range communication have failed. I've located the Perihelion on sensors, Captain, but that's not all. She seems to be dangerously close to a quantum singularity. A black hole, Captain. Black holes are the stuff of legend, and 
here we are on the edge of one. A massive one at that. The perihelion is well inside the black hole's gravitational pull. How is that possible? There's more, Captain. There's a very large ship in tandem with the perihelion. We're not close enough for identification, but it looks like the other ship is emitting some kind of gravity field. It's preventing both ships from being pulled in. Steer us clear of the black hole's gravitational pull. Yes, Captain. I have the perihelion in visual range, Captain. On screen. Magnify. The alien ship doesn't match anything on our records. Any response to our hails? Negative, Captain. I'm not picking up any life signs on either vessel. However, the black hole's gravitic field could be masking it. What's the status of the perihelion? I'm detecting multiple hull breaches, massive system failures. All her main systems are down. Can we beam aboard from this distance? Negative, Captain. The black hole is interfering with our targeting scanners. Ensign Rowe, if we took the Excelsior into the zero gravity field, would we have enough power to get out? I believe so, Commander. We found out everything we can from here. I think it's time we got in a little closer. McFarlane, take us in, nice and slow. Aye, Captain. Moving in one quarter speed. Engineering to bridge. Transferring power to structural integrity fields. 500,000 kilometers and closing. We're making history, people. No Federation ship has ever been this close to a black hole. Gravitational pull now 2,000 Gs and rising. Beginning the reversing procedure and approaching the perihelion. Steady as she goes. Approaching the zero gravity field. 5,000 Gs. Cut thrusters. Gravitational pull is nominal, Captain. All stop. Helm answering all stop, Captain. Our targeting scanners seem to be working fine inside the artificial gravity field, Captain. Shelby, assemble an away team. See if you can get power to the perihelion's computers. Download their logs and sensor data. Aye, Captain. Take full precautions, Commander. Use the bio suits and full transporter decontamination. What about the alien ship, Captain? First things first, Ensign. We need to find out what happened to our people. Ro, you're with me. Shelby to engineering. Leffler, meet me in the transporter room. Hello? Captain? Lieutenant, did you hear that? Hear what, sir? Uh, never mind. What's the status of the away team? They're almost done, sir. Okay, let me know when they come back. I'm going to turn in for a quick nap. You have the bridge. Aye, Captain. This is the